Tampa Chase, and we are here today to show you your beginner ballet class. This is Little Miss Chanty, and she's going to demonstrate for you. Um, today, we're just going to show you the bar exercises. So this is your very first um, beginner ballet class. I would usually start this class from about age seven and, and up from that way. So we're going to start facing the bar, and we don't have a bar available, so we're just going to be facing the wall. I hope you guys don't mind. We're going to be facing the bar the whole time in our first position. Okay, so our heels are together, our toes are out. Okay, we're going to be squeezing our bums, standing up nice and tall. We're going to start with plies. Okay, so you can teach your students plie means, what does it mean? To bend, yes. So we're in the first position, standing nice and tall. We're going to take it down for four counts each. One and two, hold it there, three. Four straight up slow, six, seven, really slow, plie, one, two, three, four straight and five, six, seven, eight, one more, one, two, three, four straight and five, six, seven, eight, on, do one, two, two, second position, three, four, then we're just going to do a little bit of a weight check. We're going to keep our legs nice and straight. About two comes up five, six, seven. Same thing in second position. Three demi plies. One, two, four. Count down three, four. Stretch up five, six. Try to move as slow as you can. And we go one, two, three. Wide your feet and up. Six, seven. Third time. One, two, three. Four, stretch up, five, six, seven, eight, Tom, do one, two, we're going to go to the third position, to the middle of our foot, three, four, test your weight, five, six, seven, same thing in third, three, double plie is nice and slow, Tom, do back to first, and finish. Okay, so those plies are happening in the first position, okay, so let's show them our first. Okay, they're opening up into second position. Okay, nice wide legs. And then we're going to third position, which you're going to bring your heel down to the middle of your supporting leg, your other supporting leg, okay? And back to first to finish, okay? So let's also talk about our posture. So we're working our way from the top of the head down to the body, okay? First, we're going to, here, just come stand right in the middle for me. Chances to stand up nice and tall. The first thing we think about is having really long earrings on our ears, right? And they can't touch our shoulders, so we're pressing down, having a really long neck. The second thing I like to do, if you can just turn to the side for me, there we go, is I'll take my hand and I'm just going to come up behind the student and I want them to push slightly against me so they're resisting. Okay, so they're standing up nice and tall. I'm going to lift your chin. There we go. So I'm pressing nice and tall using the back of the head. Okay, so hold it there. All backwards. Okay, from there the shoulders are going to go up to your ears. Go ahead and let go of your arms. They're going to circle back and then they're going to press down. Yes, so shoulders go up, back, and press down. From there, your tummy is coming up nice and flat. Yes, keep the shoulders down. Uh -huh. And then we're going down with the tailbone. So let's turn so you can see more. There we go, put your feet together nice and straight. So the stomach is going up, uh-huh, and the tailbone is going down. So we have this nice straight line from the top of the head all the way down, okay? Our kneecaps are brushed up and squeezed, quads are activated. The weight is forward in our toes. So we're always standing on our toes just a little bit, you know, our weight's always forward. If you're squeezing your bum, shoulders down, that's how you should stand 24-7. So let's go ahead and get started with the music. Um, three demi plies, first, second, and third position.
are nice and tight and squeezed, okay? She's standing up nice and tall. As she pleads, you want to tell your students, go ahead and give me a down and plie, to pull up as they're going down, bigger, 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 bigger. Uh-huh. And then they push the floor away from them to stand up nice and slow, squeeze my hand, uh-huh. Okay, so you have this opposition working with you. Every time you go down, you're pulling up. When you're coming up, you're pressing down. Okay, so for Tom Jeans, we're going to go to the ball of the foot for one, two, to the tippy toes, three, four. Back down to the ball, five, six. Close it in, seven, eight. We're going to do two of those on quad in each direction. Two to the front, two to the side, two to the back, and two to the Okay, so a couple of things you want to look out for. When your student is tongue to the back, go ahead and show us a tongue to back with your left leg. Can you use your left leg? Okay, one, we want to make sure it's directly behind them. And the second thing, we want their knee to be looking to the side. Which side is it going to look to? Uh huh, stand up straight. Okay, get your hips straight. Stand up. There, there we go. Okay, so now just rotate with your hip. Uh huh. Just try and get your knees to point to the side. And then now close it back into first. There we go. So just stand up nice and straight. So you want to make sure that your knee is still turning out from the hip, pointing to the side every single time. There we go, stay like that the whole time, pull them to the wall. Right foot, one, two, tippy toes, three, four, back to the ball, five, six, close, seven, eight, and again, one, two, same leg, three, four, ball of the foot, five, six, slide back.
you don't have any weight on your tongue to you on your working leg. Yeah, if you're putting weight on it, it's not correct. Stand nice and tall, show me your tongue to you, and you should just be able to lift it at any time. Okay? Okay, so moving along, we're in first position, hands are on our hips. Again, we're going to be facing the bar when we do this with the music. You're tongue doing to the front. One, two, keeping the turn out, brush it through first position. Three, four, straight to the back, derriere, five, six, close, seven, eight. Okay, we tongue do one and two, close to first, three, and four, straight through to the back, five, six, close, seven, eight, and again, one, two, three, four, derriere, five, six, Seven, eight, on do one, two, first position, three, four, derriere, five, six, and seven, finish, eight. Okay, so we want to make sure that this foot that's working, our working leg, stays directly behind us when we go to the back. So it can't be up here, and it can't be overcrossed. Keep it nice and straight the whole time. Front, right in front of our nose, right in front of our back of our head. Okay, every single time. And really try and keep that turn out. Your knee should be looking to the side the whole time. Right? Okay, let's do it. Here we go. Fourth 
position, which we haven't worked in today. It's on two, in two, fourth position. So we're lining up your heels and your toes on both sides as much as possible. Yes, that's your fourth position. Tandu, close always your big toe. Is your fifth position? Yes. Okay, and then you have your sixth position, which is just straight parallel. So back to first. Now we're going to talk about our arms. Our arms are down and rounded. Okay. For beginners, it's nice if you just have them take their thumb to their middle finger. I always just say that they like to hold tinker bell. Yes, between their fingertips. So feel for your belly button. Can you find it? Okay. Open your arms from there. That's your first position. We don't want it to be too high because this makes you look really short on stage. We want it to be lower, right from our belly button, so that we look nice and long and tall on stage. So this is your first position. We're going to open to our second position, both arms. Okay, again, it's the same thing. Second is not straight up here. It's a little bit lower. Okay, our right arm is going to come up to third position. Good, then we're going to cross into fourth position. We're going to lift up into high fifth. Shoulders are down. Yes, so the shoulders down, long necks. We open and allonge and finish. Again, let's do that nice and smooth. First, four, two, and second, four, two. Right arm up to third, four, two, and fourth, four, two, and fifth, four, two, and open and allonge the press. So after breaking down your feet positions and your arm positions with your students, I like to just quiz them all, um, just quick on the spot. So hands on your hips. Um, show me second position, feet. Third position. Fifth position. First position. Fourth position. Back to first. Okay, arms first. Fifth. Second, third, fourth, first, fifth, and finish. So you can do that with the whole class and just see if you can pick it up the quickest. So next on the bar, we are going to do tondus from fifth position. Okay, this seems a little bit confusing for younger kids. First is easy, it's comfortable. Fifth, it's working with different muscle groups. And it gets confusing in which direction you need to be closing. Okay, so hands and hips while we're demonstrating, but again, this is going to be at your bar. You have time to do four counts each. One, two, close, three, four, fifth position, two or three, toe, every single time. Five, six, close, seven, eight, and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So those four time do's. Every time we close, we pull our toes back so we get a nice fifth position. Four to the side. You don't change on the first one. One, two, close, three, four. Now we change. Five, six, close the back. Seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Four to the back and four to the side. Okay? So what you want to think about when you're doing your tongue moves is using your entire foot. Okay? Pushing through your heel down into the ground. Yes, pushing from the back of the foot into that tummy. So she pushes, keeping her knee nice and straight. Yes. So push through using your inner thigh, through the foot into your tendu. And same thing as you close. Pull, use that inner thigh, create your own resistance to work your legs. Okay?
modify things, change it so that it suits you and your students. Thank you. 